Well, all right. I've been doing so much tire changing on all my vehicles, and one of the reasons that we've done some of the swapping is so I can get my flat irons with the red rims onto this truck like I've been intending for quite some time again. I keep putting them on other stuff. Now, I'm debating if I should change these foams out in the front because the rear is a dual stage, Pro-Line dual stage. They work pretty good, and the front ones are not. And I think maybe they're also all pretty worn out. So for now, we're just going to go with it. The only other dual stage I have are way too firm. They're uh, the ones I just took out of another set of wheels. Come to find out that the wheels weren't performing very well once I took the dual stage out and put 3D printed foam in, they started working again. So we're not going to reuse them foams until I adjust them, make some modifications. So anyway, we do got my wheel extensions to go on as well. I think these are like plus 15. It says plus 10, but I think, I don't know if that's the weight, 10 grams. Or if it's adding 10 millimeter. Well, I guess if you deduct for the actual one that you're taking off to replace it, you're adding 10. But these are a 15 millimeter hex. It just says plus 10 because your other one's probably 5 or 7 or I don't know. Shit. Anyway, like I know the technical stuff. I know them are going on there. Well, all right, y'all. Check it out. We got the high trail out of retirement. <laughs> she hasn't been out here getting her tires dirty for a while. So we went through a lot of tire changing in the last few days to make sure that my flat irons and my true wheels come back to this truck, which is where I wanted them. I do got the 3D printed foam in the back. They're Pro-Line. They work really well. They're way better than the ones I had in my other truck. But I don't have them in the front. And I think it's about time to upgrade the uh, foams that's in the front. They're really... They've seen better days. They've been around for a lot of miles. Well, maybe not miles, but you know what I mean. Well, actually, yeah, they have been around a lot of miles. We just went four miles in the uh, FMS Blazer with those the other day. Something like that. Anyway, we're getting her outside. We're going to have some fun with it once I dump the rocks out of that trailer, which is what we're going to go outside and do right now. All right, time to dump the trailer. I get to use the winch controller, but I still got to pull the vehicle forward at the same time. let it rip right here i don't know i got a lot of the weight to the front this time let's see oh yeah no problem shit that thing will get it when the battery's got juice and i didn't even charge it last night i do need to get in and pull forward but we'll wait a minute all right let me pull her forward I just figured I'd give you a little picture from this angle where we're working on this right here a little bit. Um, I trimmed out a path through the middle. We're going to put red mulch all through here. And maybe make, we're going to make a road that comes through and crosses the stump and goes back around and stuff. A couple roads. We're going to decorate around it. It's always been out here. We used to have it looking good years ago, but things got away from us when our health went down. But now we're doing better. My wife broke her elbow years ago, had to go through surgeries and stuff, but all that's doing good. So we're back. Time to get shit done. It's a nice pile to play on. My high trail has been 
preparing to come out and play on this. So stay tuned. All right, I made it outside. My wife went to get some pizza. She'll be back soon. So for those of you who are new to the channel, I've noticed I've had a lot of new subscribers. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Now, I was letting the uh, Hobby Wing 1080 thing go on for at least 24 hours, which is about up, I think, before I tally the names. But we got like 200 comments almost, which is awesome. They're not all for the Hobby Wing 1080, but most are. So thanks again for participating in that, and we'll see who wins here in the next day or so. I'm going to let it go for another day. I want to make sure everybody got a chance to get in there. Anyway... We're going to go over to this big massive pile of rocks with what is still my favorite truck. Now, I love these FMSs that are coming in. I really do. My Blazer is right there. It's probably my second favorite. And when FMS decides they get to make the uh, a K10 110, that will probably become my favorite if they put it on that same platform they got the Blazer on. The Mashigan is actually the same wheelbase as this truck which is longer than the K10, which is awesome. It's a little big for a Jeep, but, and we got my 3D printed steering wheel on here. I like this, but it's a little slippery. I think I'm gonna put some tape around that. I have not looked for a line to climb or nothing. We are totally winging it right now. I'm just gonna kind of come right over here and go for it. We should probably go through and like stomp down some rocks or something. do a head-to-head -head battle between this one and my blazer I was gonna go blazer on blazer first with my TRX4 but I have to repair the shocks they're not very good on it and it wouldn't be fair I think my FMS would blow away my TRX4 blazer right now just lock them in we know we need it I haven't run this truck for a minute. I miss it. Come on, let's straddle them. Come on. Uh-oh. I love my flat irons. Come on, Cece. Watch out, girl. Uh-oh. I got a rock shoved up under the truck. There we go, let's lay it down. It's a beast. With these tires. I don't think I've ever ran it with these wheel extensions and these tires, which is perfect. They don't have any weight added or nothing. But I got enough weight on the truck. I don't need these to have weight. Can't go straight off. Let's go over to the side and see if we can get down safely. We'll try to come down this edge over here. Look at this thing flex across this rock right here. Watch this. If I can get it to go up it. There we go, watch. This thing will flex for days. About to flip for days is what it's about to do. Better move, CC, because that's the target we're going to flip at here in a minute. I'm going to move a couple of these bottom rocks. Maybe help it a little bit on the, on the landing at the bottom. 
because it's gonna flip probably or nose dive one we're gonna let it try to I don't have dig so right there's an advantage that the blazer would have already had as I could use my dig to get down this without but I got the drag brake that will help me on this truck so let's see what happens we're going straight for it Uh, and that's what happens. I think dig would have helped me, huh? Not once the tire was in the air, huh? <laughs> so now, let's find another spot to climb. I think I need to move some rocks here real quick. All right, moved a few rocks out of the way. Let's try to zoom instead of bending over because my back is toasted. Can we bite? Again, dual stage in the rear. Soft tires up front. Oops, and we're not even getting it. Yes. Hmm. Got a plastic bag I need to pull up out of here, probably. Look at that flex. I need a picture. Sorry guys, and Photoshop. Ugh. Can't go wrong with any fusion on the market, I'm telling you. Best product, dollar for dollar, I think, on their market today, as far as brush go, brushless goes. What the hell just happened? Did I just bog out? I'm trying to creep down this without flipping again. Here, get my tire over here. Come on. I don't have a winch anymore either. I gotta buy one. Oh, I was in second gear. That's why we bogged out earlier. Help. I've had that servo for quite some time. Oh, we almost got some traction on it. Get it to wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let me do it with both hands. Hold on. That's what he said. Look at that dust coming out. Don't look like we're moving. Uh, we are in, in reverse and low gear. I think we might get this. We're in and out. I was about to give up. My truck says don't ever give up. Okay, you should have gave up. All right, my pizza just pulled in, so I kind of matted a few rocks down. I am going to try it just for a minute. But I don't know how good of a luck we're going to have with this because it's going to be hard. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, I got dizzy on that one. That was a free buzz. Gear. I'm in high gear so y'all know. This thing here is easy to bump high gear on accident. Let's do a roar now. That's how you know. Ugh. Come on, girl. 
had a girl. But we headed this way. Uh-oh. Look at the tires, they scared now, ain't they? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. definitely bottomed out a little bit. My back bumper is going to do the same. Yeah, carburetor floods out when you're on the downhill. I told him to go fuel injection to get an EFI, but nah. Always on a budget. Always on a scale budget. Oh shoot, I just about spun that whole rear end around. I don't know if y'all seen any of that. It wasn't a good thing. Hmm, dang it. Trying to come down right here. Oh boy, we ain't coming down there, okay. Oh. Yeah, maybe I will get us out of it, nope. See the colors of the lights? We're green, purple, or can't see them through the sun, probably. Get them back to the flicky. Yeah. I got it hooked up to the throttle servo, obviously. Ah, yeah, you sucker. Let's go this way. Let's finish this up so I can go eat some pizza. Straight down the hardest spot too. Oops, sorry. Never said I was a pro yet, did I? Ah, okay, here's where the fun is about to begun. This could get bad. Showing them. And that is why I like my flat irons. 